Hello, it's Sarah, and I think I'm ready. I have a lot of stuff here in front of me. Um, I've been crocheting, and I've been trying to gather up some shabby chic supplies and things to make some shabby chic projects with. Um, I need, I still need flower centers. I'm really, I'm not, I don't have a lot of, um, like I'm going to show you my flowers in a minute, but I really have very little, so I need some input where to get that. Um, but let me just show you what I've been doing. So I've been crocheting. I had to brush up on my crochet a little bit, so I started out with big yarn. Um, and I really, I was very inspired by Kimmy B09. And if you guys haven't seen her work, it's lovely. She also does a lot of shabby chic stuff, so that's what I probably what caught my eye but in particular there's one um, video that she has called my crochet creations where she's done flowers and they're tiny little flowers like they're at least th the size of a quarter and as you'll see most of mine the biggest I have is like I mean the smallest I should say it's like an inch and three quarters um, big but I'll show you in a sec so I started out big um, the, the thing about Kimmy B, though, is she doesn't have any tutorials or anything, I mean, that I noticed. the um, There were quite a few, actually, on YouTube, and I tried quite a few of them, and I'm not going to go into all of them, but Tutu Amy had some very sweet, quick, cute beginner pieces. Um, I didn't try the butterfly yet, and I meant to, but I was doing um, flowers tonight. I just did these other little flowers that I found online, actually. So... There are a lot of sources out there if you want to learn to crochet or do flowers. There's tons of videos on YouTube and on everywhere. So um, I'll just show you what I what I did. Now this is called a motif. This one is one that I got on YouTube and they call it a motif. And evidently motifs are, you know, it's just a th like it turns into a thing. Like it's done. Like this is a motif. Um... What else was a motif? Now this was considered a doily. Let me see, so that, so I did that in a couple colors. And this is like a soft yarn, kind of like a baby yarn probably. Um, and this is just a real thick yarn, so you can see the difference in size a little bit. It's definitely got a different texture, different feel to it. But I love it, it's pretty. And to make a doily in that motif I thought would be pretty. So this is done with like thread. It's called, um, I have it right here. And you get really tiny crochet needles, but it's like a thread. I have to find my floss too, because I do have floss from when I did plastic canvas, and I don't know. I've had I've I've done different um, stitching projects over the years, but this was the smallest of all that I've ever tried, and so that's what this is made out of. So this was really doily, like I thought. Um, so there's one of those on one of my flowers. I'll show you in a minute. So then I have I found this other flower design and I really like the shape um, they're not perfect obviously I was just brushing up and as you change crochet hook sizes and change yarn sizes um, you know you get a difference in the flower size as well um, and then some of them I wasn't paying attention now this is actually different they're two different flowers you can tell from the middle um, but they're both five petals no this is a six petal this is a five petal so I did a six and a five um, I have so this is a six six but then the ones I was working on today were the smallest and I found these online and these are pretty cute they're a good size for projects I think um, and they're a little rough looking I think I need a little more practice um, with the smaller yarn and the smaller projects obviously you have to be a little more um, intricate with it and stuff so and I'm watching TV when I do this so I'm probably not paying attention um, but I like this this um, motif I don't know if that's what you would call it um, I like the ring around the center and you know what this was actually for she put it on ha a, ha a hat for like a baby she stitched the button onto the hat and then you could button this onto the hat and change the color of the flower on the hat by buttoning it butting it buttoning it onto the hat over the button and then the button becomes the center so that was really cute um I just googled. I googled beginner flowers, beginner doilies, things like that. Um, and that's why I came up with this was one I just did tonight. And I really like the shape of this and the design. It's not perfect. 
and it was really confusing <laughs> but I did finish it and it didn't look half bad so that's another one I tried tonight so those are my crocheted pieces and I just want to bring in now some shabby chic flowers that I made um, I did these yesterday and there's quite a few of the tutorials out there and I, I should have looked beforehand but I don't remember her name but it was a really great tutorial she showed how she folds the fabric you cut the fabric into squares and then you fold it and I don't have any here well I do it's over there though I had to take a minute to get it um, but just just google it I mean I'm not google it um you know put it in the search bar of YouTube um, shabby chic flowers and they come up so I just grabbed I still have some of my um, materials out from when I made my thread books so I grabbed what I had. This gold fabric was from a pillow that I took apart from Goodwill. That's one of my doilies. And then there's just a metal piece and a, and a um, pearl in the middle. But it's a little big. I think I want to try and go smaller. I'm trying to embellish. I mean, this could be the focal point on a box or something. So I mean, it's not. I'm going to keep it and we'll see what happens. But I love how the doily looks. Um, I did start to tone them down by the end. This is like my smallest one. And this is actually a store-bought doily, one of the ones I think from the $1.50 bin at Michael's. So, and it's just fabric, the doily, and, and a, like I said, I don't have any very many flower centers. I'm trying to figure out where you guys get these really blingy, pretty. I know I'm starting to go to thrift stores. I went today. <laughs> um, it's been a dollar fifty, and I got three more pieces of milk glass, so um, I'm enjoying it. But um, uh, this one, this was cool. I did uh, a rolled rose with some. Um, let me see if it's here. Some lace trim that I had. Um, this stuff, and I think I just this was a dollar. Well, this is the white, but I have the off white version too. Um, I think AC Moore. I got this or Hobby Lobby, one of the two. Um, so I figured them out and then I used, um, this is just some like, I think it was a lace placemat that I got for like a dollar at the thrift store. And then that's one of my doilies on the bottom. Cause I thought it looked a little naked. I only put five petals and then that, but that's really cute. Shabby chic. I don't know that it's showing up in this light. And then this one's really cool. This is gold. I did the gold on the bottom. Then I did some of that like crocheted lace and it, it's really fraying and one of my doilies and just a center just that's one of those buttons that you can buy the gold buttons so that one turned out cute and then I did a smaller version of this one um, just skipped this layer with a small um, rose rolled rose and then this one's just like two colors of fabric and one of my crocheted um, doilies and a flower so I think they turned out cute for, for a first um, try. Um, so I'm gathering my supplies. I'm trying to figure out, like I said, I need flower centers, things like that. I'm still looking around um, at all your you guys' videos for inspiration um, and just love it. Keep it coming. Thank you all so much for inspiring and thanks for watching.